Hey guys, so I'm finally back. It's been like a week since I've done a video, which sucks because I was going to do one, but I forgot my camera, so I couldn't upload it and whatever. But, so I'm finally here, and I'm going to be doing this eye look here, which has been one of my everyday, because I'm rotating like three eye looks right now, or everyday looks. So I'm rotating this one. This is one of them. And it is using the 100 eyeshadow palette by e.l.f. for the Eyes Lips Face 100 eyeshadow palette. And I am using about two, four, five, 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 I think like five different eyeshadows. And this one here, which is the second row, the third one up, is kind of like an all-over lid color. And then to kind of darken up the crease just a little bit, I took a mixture of these two colors, this black and then this brown, um, just to kind of dar darken up the crease. And then for my highlight, I took a mixture of these two colors here. And now to blend out all the colors, I took a mixture of three. You can use one. I use one, but just today I decided to mix them up. Um, it's this one here. And then it's this one and this one, these two here. So I took a mixture of those three to blend out. But like I said, on any normal day, I'll just use one, but today, for some reason, my brush just decided to go into three of them, so I used three. So, um, without further ado, I will go ahead and get into the tutorial, and hopefully I can get another video up soon. So, um, just keep watching if you want to see how to get this. Okay, guys, so to start off, I'm going to prime my lids with the Stay Don't Stray Benefit Primer. And I swear it has a little pump, but if you pump it too fast or just, you know, take one whole pump, it's too much primer. So I always try to just like slowly squeeze a little out because if you take too much, it is too much. I just take like a little bit and just apply this all over the lid and up to the brow. And you also want to apply some to the lower lash line. And the base we're going to be using today is the Ulta Eye Crayon in Golden Birthday Girl, which just kind of looks like that. It's just kind of like a champagne-y pink type base. And you're just going to put this all over the lid. And kind of take it like above the brow. And then just blend that out. Okay, and I'm just going to take uh, just a regular eyeshadow brush. This is the e.l.f. Eyeshadow C brush. And I'm going to pick up some of that eyeshadow color, our main color, and just apply that all over the lid. And since this is our main color, you're going to apply it all over the lid. And take it above the crease. And don't worry about blending it out. We'll do that in just a minute. But once you have the eyeshadow applied to both eyes, I know this looks funky, but we are going to blend it out. And we are going to blend it out um, with just a regular blending brush. This is my Sigma E35. And I'm just going to pick up that skin tone color that we're using and blend out this color. So you're just going to apply where that color kind of ends and then just blend it out. So once you're done and comfortable with your blending, you can go ahead and just take a highlighter brush. This is what I'm going to use for my highlight. This is a Coastal Sense brush, which is my favorite because it's so big and it's just perfect for the highlight. And I'm going to go ahead and take the highlight colors and just kind of apply those. And I just kind of like to apply them first and then I'll blend them out. And to blend out the highlight colors, I just take my e.l.f. angled contour brush and just kind of blend them out and blend them in with, like, everything else. And then I go back with the, um, the blending brush and I just kind of blend all that together. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply with this, like, pointed contour brush. I'm going to take my highlight colors and just apply those to my inner corner. And if you want to add a little more, like, depth into your creases, which I kind of feel like doing today, um, but this is basically it as far as eyeshadows go for my everyday look. I have about three everyday looks right now that I'm rotating. One you guys have already seen. It's the eye look without the lashes in my birthday party ready tutorial. And then the other one I'll probably be doing soon. Um, but for today, this is one of the 
ones that I've been rotating. Um, so I just put it like this for the day, but since I am going out tonight um, with Patrick, I want to just kind of darken up the creases. So I'm going to take a pointed eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to pick up some of the two browns, just a mixture of them, and then just kind of... And I'm just kind of applying this in the outer corner. And this is the mixture of that brown and black. Since the black isn't super pigmented, it's not the best black out there. Um, it's not going to completely take over the look. And I will go back and blend it just a minute. I always like to just kind of apply the color where I want it. And then I'll go back and blend. Okay, and now I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and just kind of blend those colors out a little. And now I'm going to take an angled eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to pick up the main eyeshadow color that we used and just apply that on the bottom lash line. Or, yeah. So once you have everything done with eyeshadow, you can go ahead and add eyeliner. I've been using this new Physicians Formula like pen type eyeliner. And this is supposed to be like a two-in-one. It's called Eye Booster. It's a two-in-one lash boosting eyeliner and serum. Um, so far, I really like the eyeliner, so I'm going to go ahead and apply eyeliner and mascara, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so once you finish that, that is pretty much the completed look. Like I said, I just added mascara to my bottom lashes, which was a brown mascara, and then black to my top, and then my eyeliner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I'm going to go finish getting ready, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.